How's it going guys? Duck here. Today I got a review of a pen for you. This is the Bastion Slim Bolt Action while I drop things and not talk to the camera. It's always fun. Um, it's been a while since I've been here. Been very busy, but yeah, let's get a review out, you know? So here's the Bastion or Bastion or Bastion or however you want to say it. Bastion, whatever. I'm not 100% sure on how you say it. All I can say is I do enjoy the pen. So let's pop this boy out here. So this is the packaging it comes in. It is an aluminum bolt action pen. The serial number is going to be on the back regarding the model number, all that stuff. So very nice. Good packaging. Got a foam insert. Keeps the pen there. This does come shrink wrapped as well, which is nice for keeping dirt out. So let's get a look at this pen. This is like my third time reviewing this, but here is the Bastion. I'm just gonna call it the Bastion from now on. You got a steel bolt, a steel pocket clip, and then all anodized aluminum. And it's got a nice action on it. So this guy's coming in at about $40, which is pretty pricey for a pen, if you're going by big standards, obviously, but it's very enjoyable. I do like it a lot. So let's pop this boy out here real quick. So there's a O-ring in here to keep the cap from popping off. It's got a standard spring in here. Here is the cartridge. I'm not 100% sure what this cartridge is, but I believe it also is compatible with Fisher Space Pins. So, very nice. It writes really well, in my opinion, while I get this out. So it, it's, um, these are kind of rough. It, there we go. We got a nice mark on here now too. So just so you know what it looks like, it writes very well in my opinion. So let's go over some weights really quick and then we'll do some size comparisons as well as a measurement. So it comes in at about 0.787 ounces, which is pretty nice. It's not too heavy. Lengthwise, we're coming in at a little over five and a quarter inches. Not terrible. It's a good size in my opinion. It's not too big, it's not too small. And then we'll do a size comparison before I give you a actual measurement of the width for this guy. So this is the Bastion Bolt Action Original. Obviously, very chunky. Very chunky of a pen. We're actually going to zoom in a little bit because these are somewhat small. Smaller than a standard knife, obviously. So very very different this guy is really thick so we're going to measure this one and measure this one just to show you the differences so the measurement on the old one is right underneath the pocket clip is coming in at 12.03 and the one on the new slim version right under the pocket clip as well is coming in at 10.12 so it is almost a two millimeters thinner that is huge a huge difference so yes very very thin compared to the old one i like it a lot it writes great it's got a nice action yeah, but let's do a, another comparison really quick. We have a standard Pilot G2 in teal, and then we have a Bic mechanical pencil because I can't find my Bic pen. I don't carry it. I carry this one. And then we also have in here for fun a Balio, just for fun. Spider Co. So, yep. There's the size comparisons. So. Let's talk about a couple complaints that I have. Honestly, there's not really any complaints. I think this thing's great. 
will give it a overall rating soon. However, I do have some uh, complaints, kind of very loud action. I get complaints from people saying it's too loud, it's obnoxious. So if you are working in a office setting where it needs to be quiet, do not open and close this guy. You are going to get yelled at. It's very loud. And then the other complaint that I have personally is the steel bolt. This guy is going to wear down the aluminum here. I have had it already occur with this one. You can tell how far, these are the same, same cartridges. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is recessed slightly more than the new one. That is not originally how it came. So I have had this one for almost a year. The steel will erode the aluminum and just wear it away. So that is a complaint. Keeping this in your front pocket is kind of iffy. It will make a mark on your shirt if you're constantly pulling it out because it's it's going to collect dirt. So just that happens with any pen, but this does have a very good grip on it. Just mentioning that. It feels great in the pocket though. I personally like it in the pocket better than the front pocket, but yes, very good action, decent weight, feels fine with writing. I really like it and it helps keep some knives in my pocket too, like this Delt, or excuse me, Para 3. So review coming on that soon, but yes, these are, or this rather, is very nice. It does come in a bunch of colors. There is a stainless steel one. I believe I mentioned that, but I do want to reiterate the stainless steel one is going to be more money. But for overall, I'd give it a solid seven or eight. I think it's great. It's very fun to write with, especially if you hand it to somebody and they're like, whoa, this is a cool pen. Because they're just used as standard Pilot G2s or Bix or anything like that. It's very cool. So, yep. I really like it. Check it out. Links in the description. They offer a bunch of stuff. I do recommend the Slim over the original. The original does come in titanium, though. There isn't a titanium one out yet. That's the only downside, so yeah. Links in the description. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.